There was the usual drama in Parliament, which characterizes budget presentations. Well, the minority touted it is a, quote, bye-bye budget. The majority hailed it, saying it fulfilled government promises. This uh, message Darling local captured all the moments. Take a look. As early as 8 Wednesday morning, members of parliament were in the house in anticipation of the 2020 budget and financial policy presentation. Also present in the house was the vice president, Dr. Mahamud Dubaumia. Parliamentary proceedings started at 10.40 a.m. The minority leader, Haruna Edisu, expressed misgivings over the vice president, Dr. Mahamud Dubaumia, having been seated before the finance minister, Ken Uforiata, arrived. Our objection is that while the vice president, the second most respected person of our republic, is in this house, the Minister for Finance should have been here earlier. And as Mr. Speaker, the Minister for Finance knows. The finance minister was dressed in his usual white kaftan, clutching the familiar briefcase. At 11.20, he entered the delivery box. Some members of the minority wondered if the sector minister would as usual commence with his scripture quotation. During the presentation, some eyes in the public gallery were heavy. Yatia bre, literally meaning we are tired of hearing about it, is how the minority responded to the gains made in the education sector, especially with the free SHS policy. A free senior high school education for all Ghanaians. There was disagreement and laughter when the finance minister said members were aging. Mr. Speaker, we are all growing old. It took him two hours to finish with his presentation, after which members from the minority displayed printed messages to describe the budget. While the minority called it a bye-bye budget, election year budget, the majority described the financial policy as in Kosovo and in Kabum to wit, progress and unity. Some members also sang, while the speaker called to them to order. 